Hi there, my name is Chien and welcome back to the series for learning programming language by example using C sharp and AP.NET. Okay, so today we will continue with the day S by using a tree view to display the hero hero T code data on the web page. Okay, so now I will open the SQL server to see. We have a table category with content three column here, ID, name, and parent ID. And I already enter some data for this table. Okay, here, so in this table we have a relationship. We have a relationship data here. ID and parent ID. So we will so we will use this data to display on the web page. Okay, so we go ahead to create a table and name it is get category split and in this store I use a common table expression uh, and the recursive query to get the data for the G view. That's one get the parent record and that's one will enjoy with the common table expression data by itself here. And after that we have a final query to get the final data for G view. And I assume you guys understand the what is common table expression in SQL. Mm. So if you don't understand, you can open the Google and try to search common common table expression to see what is it. Okay. So I will try to run on the query here. Okay. So we have some data. With some hero decal level. Okay, so now I will come back to Visual Studio to create a web page and I will name it a GView. I G Okay, so now I go ahead to create a GView here. It's inside the navigation. Train ID is GV result. Okay, so now I will open the code behind. So to share the time, I, I already created some of this, the code and now I will open and copy it and I will try to explain it for you guys. Okay, so like some previous video tutorial, we will declare some variable to work with the SQL database. So we will create a function to loading data into GView. Okay, name here only. And in this uh, from a unit methods, I will call the store procedure and name it the get category list. This one.
So after that, we have a SQL data reader here. So we have to convert the SQL data reader to data set. So we have to create a data table to store the to store the data from the SQL data reader inside that data table. And after that, we will convert data table into data set. Okay. So to create the data for GView, uh, we I only create a table. Maybe it is create GView data table which contain uh, three parameters. First one is data table, table ID, and the G node. Okay. So in this table, we will process the data and display the parent node, try nodes, and uh, uh, after that we buy it on the TV, uh, to the TV on the web page. So here, in the loading data table to the TV, we call the table to create the TV data, and we pass the parent ID here. And in this uh, create GPU data table, uh, we will call the recursive function method to add the genos data for some parent. And after that, we will expand all, all the nodes in the GPU on the web page. Okay, so now I will try to run the application. Okay, it worked fine. You okay? So now I will open the SQL to compare the data. Okay, so you can see the root. Here is a computer, and it have to try a Laptop and laptop, laptop, laptop. Here and you can see a one, a one here. And in the laptop, we have laptop Dell, Toshiba, Asus, laptop CI2, Dell CI2, Toshiba, Asus, laptop is CI3, it has laptop. Dell CA3, 3, 3, and CA4 in laptop Dell. You have, you have Dell virtual. Okay, so we can change it to the CA3 or CA2. And let's see what happened with our code. Yep, maybe Dell virtual. Here. So we will come turn it back to the CA4. Here. And we go ahead to create new it's CA CA eleven. It is example laptop there is CA7 okay it looks fine so beyond this example so you guys can create some data and this GPU will contain a multiple level for the beyond the data Okay, so I hope with this video will help for you guys to create some uh, hierarchy, hierarchical data from the database 
and display it on the web page using GView. And also in this video, you will guys will understand the common table expression and recursive in SQL database, SQL Server. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any comment, and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, so bye and happy coding. See you in the next video tutorial. Bye bye.